Now look at this waterfall. Why am I showing you this is because the word cataract means waterfall. Okay. So what is the relationship between cataract and waterfall? See imagine yourself standing in a waterfall something similar to the one in this picture. You will have hazy vision because of the fine droplets of water present in the air in the waterfall. So the vision that you experience when you stand in a waterfall is similar to that experienced by a patient with cataract. That is why we call cataract as cataract. Okay. Now, see this is the vision where all of us have right now. That is clear lens vision. However, this was the vision I was talking about. Like when you stand in a waterfall, the hazy vision that you have, this occurs when the lens is opaque. So this is how a cataractus patient sees. So the normal lens is crystal clear. So there is a crisp clear image that falls on the retina. However, when in lens is opaque that is in case of a cataract the rays of light sca get scattered something like this see the, all the rays of light are getting scattered resulting in a hazy image okay that's a very um, gross overlook about cataract now let's look at the main causes of blindness before we progress into the details of cataract now the most common cause of blindness in the world is cataract see all the points mentioned in this particular uh, slide will be asked as questions. So kindly concentrate. The most common cause of blindness in the world is cataract. Then 70% of blindness in India and 50% of the blindness in the world is due to cataract. That is 70% of blind people in the world and 50% of the blind people in India are blind because of cataract. Now the second most common cause in the world is glaucoma and the third is ARMD. So the first one is cataract, second is glaucoma, third is age related macular degeneration. Now you can note that all of these are non-infectious. Non-infectious causes are the leading causes of blindness. However, the most common infectious cause of blindness is trachoma. Okay. And the second most common cause of infectious blindness is onchocerciasis. Okay. And the most common cause of blindness in children is vitamin A deficiency. And the most common cause of ocular morbidity is refractive errors. See we all know the difference between morbidity and mortality. Morbidity is something uh, that is affecting a person and not really not really leading to his death that is now here by ocular morbidity I mean the patient has some complaints related to the eyes so the most common cause of ocular morbidity in children is refractive errors now let's define blindness we have spoken so much about blindness let's see how to define that now according to NPCB that is National Program for Control of Blindness 6 by 6 to 6 by 18 is normal vision. Now look at this Nellens chart over here. So this line is 6 by 6, then 6 by 9, 6 by 12, 6 by 18, 24, 36 and 60. So 6 by 6 to 6 by 18. All of this is according to NPCB normal vision. Then vision from 6 by 18 to 6 by 36 is defined as low vision. This is normal. Okay, and anything less than 6 by 60 was defined as blind. However, all of this has been changed now. Anything less than 3 by 60 with best possible correction and the better eye is known as blind. Now, what do I mean by this statement? Let's break it down. So, the best possible correction for this patient is 3 by 60. That is, there is no improvement further with glasses. That is in which I suppose he has one blind eye and one, uh, one, let's not say blind eye. Suppose one eye has defective vision and the other eye is normal. So which eye will you take into consideration before you call that person blind? It is the better eye. 
in the better eye if the vision is not improving beyond 3 by 60 that is known as blind condition called blindness okay now there are a few terms that you have to remember economic blindness is less than 6 by 60 that is the patient is not fit to earn his livelihood that is less than 6 by 60 social blindness is less than 3 by 60 that is he cannot interact with anybody around him because of his visual morbidity then less than 1 by 60 is manifest blindness and absolutely no perception of light we can decipher that it is absolute blindness so economic blindness less than 6 by 60 social blindness less than 3 by 60 manifest blindness less than 1 by 60 and no light perception is absolute blindness however there is one difference between NPCB and the WHO it defines that less than 3 by 60 with best possible correction in the better eye is blind earlier in NPCB it was less than 6 by 60 now both WHO and our NPCB agree on the same thing that is less than 3 by 60 is considered to be blind in the better eye. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sai Suguna, your mentor for ophthalmology at Medico app. Now, thanks for watching the video. Now we have put such videos all together in our ophthalmology app. The trial version you can download from the link over here or in the description box below.